everyone and welcome to the first throwback Thursday video. Now I thought I'd come on here and do this just because it might be something a little bit different and a little bit fun and a few of you requested me to do the kind of throwback videos with favourites and that kind of thing and I might start doing that as well but I thought this might be fun because I did this video when I first started out on YouTube and as you can tell by the title it's the 40 beauty questions tag and I think it's a really fun tag and it's just kind of interesting to see how your answers have changed. I haven't watched um, the video kind of in full to see my answers because I wanted to kind of do that after I did this to see how different they were. I didn't want it to affect how I was going to answer it but kind of how I look in the video is quite different. I'm um, kind of not wearing very much makeup at all. I think I might have been sick as well. I look a bit like I was and my hair was much lighter and that's kind of made me think about maybe dyeing my hair a little bit lighter. I'm wearing it curly in the video. I straightened it this morning just because it wasn't looking very nice um, and my hair is much much darker now and my hair gets lighter in the sun naturally and I think that just suits me a little bit more so I might dye it a little bit lighter I might go out and buy some kind of hair dye over the weekend but um, yeah I thought I would just come on here and do the 40 questions tag throwback Thursday style so let's get started the first question is how many times do you wash your face daily so I suppose three because I wash it once in the morning and then I kind of do a cleanse to take my makeup off at night and then I do a second cleanse to really cleanse my face skin um, at night, so three times. What skin type do you have, dry, oily or combo? I have um, kind of combination oily skin, quite normal skin really. It is more on the oily side but it's kind of quite manageable, it's nowhere near as oily as it used to be. What is your current facial wash? Um, I'm using the Balance Me Cleansing Balm in the evening and in the morning I kind of chop and change. Sometimes I'll use a scrub. This morning I used the Clarins Daily Energizer um, gel with my Clarisonic, but it does vary. Do, what brand do you use? Oh, sorry, no. Do you exfoliate, sorry, and then the next question is what brand do you use? Um, I do exfoliate. I exfoliate kind of twice a week, kind of with a proper scrub or something like that, or um, a chemical exfoliant, and then I'll kind of use my Clarisonic sometimes as well. But I like lots of different ones. My favourite one's probably the Boots Botanics Microdermabrasion one. I still love that, but I kind of like using chemical exfoliants as well. I love the Ren Glycolactic Radiance Renewal Mask. I used that on my skin last night, actually. Um, what moisturiser do you use? <laughs> I use lots of different moisturisers. Um, at the moment, at night, I'm using the Clarins Daily Energising Cream, which I love. And then in the morning, I'm using the Clinique Dark Spot Corrector because it's got sunscreen in it. Um, <coughs> Do you have freckles? I don't at the moment, but when I go in the sun, I get freckles straight away, kind of on my nose. I do have pigmentation, does that count? Um, but I do get very freckly on my nose, and I like it. I think freckles look really youthful and really pretty, and I'd like to have freckles. Um, do you use eye cream? I do indeed use eye cream. My morning one is the Heal Gel Eye, and then in the evening I use the Soap and Glory Doctor. I want to say it's called like Doctor Eye or something like that. I love the Soap and Glory one. It's really kind of a gel texture, and it's really nice under the eye area. Do you or did you ever have acne prone skin? No, not really. Um, I kind of get the odd breakout, but nothing major. Um, do you or ha oh, have you ever used proactive? No, I haven't. I'm kind of um, a bit funny about kind of spot medication and that kind of thing. I'm not sure kind of how good for you it is, but I, like I said, I've never had acne. I have got a little bit of a friend right here that's this kind of little weird blowish that's been there for weeks and weeks and refuses to go away, but um, generally speaking, no. Then I've got the makeup questions. I'm just reading them from my um, tablet here. What foundation do you use? Again, this changes on a daily basis, but today I'm wearing the Boots 17 um, Stay Time Foundation, which I really, really like. How about concealer? Again, that changes, but at the moment my favourite, and I can see this being a favourite for a while, is the Clarins Instant Concealer, I think it's called, the one in the little tube. Amazing stuff. I'm not wearing that today. I'm, I've got the um, NYX Full Coverage Concealer on today, but I love that stuff. Um... Do you know your undertone colour? I do know my undertones. I think I'm kind of quite warm and yellowy undertoned, but I do have a lot of pink in my skin because my skin gets quite sensitive. So generally I'm kind of yellow undertoned, but I do get kind of redness on my skin, but my actual undertone is yellow. 
Um, do you, what do you think of false eyelashes? I love false eyelashes. I don't wear them very often, but kind of on a night out and that kind of thing. Just some nice corner ones I think are really pretty. I don't like kind of the really thick, fake, obvious looking ones, but kind of quite natural ones I think are amazing. Um, did you know that you're supposed to change your mascara every three months? I did indeed, but I don't tend to usually do that. I don't use one mascara though. I literally wear a different mascara all the time. Like today I've got the Benefit, their real mascara on. And then yesterday I had like a Revlon one on. I kind of chop and change. So I don't know. I don't mind on me. I wouldn't ever kind of suggest anyone else do it though. Um, what brand of mascara do you use? Again, there isn't just one. I haven't kind of found, it's not that I haven't found a holy grail item. If I really had to narrow it down, I probably could. But I like trying different things and it's kind of part of what I do. So, like I said, today, benefit the, they're real. Um, Mac or Sephora? Never been to Sephora, so I'm going to have to say Mac. Do you have a Mac Pro card? I don't, but... Um, a few people have said that you can get them kind of via your YouTube channel, so I might have to apply for one because that would be quite handy. Um, what makeup tools do you use in makeup application? I definitely love brushes. I'm a huge Real Techniques brush fan. I like these Zoeva brushes. I'm very much into brushes. Um, do you use base primer for the eyes? Yep, I do. And the next question is, and for the face. I do for the face kind of most days. And for my eyes, I either use a MAC Paint Pot, or at the moment I'm liking the Clarins um, Eye Primer as well. For my face, I like the Benefit Professional. Um, the Clarins Primer is really nice. I like the, um, what's that kind of silicone-y one? The NYX No More Shine. Um, I like primers. I kind of do feel like they make my makeup look much nicer on the skin. Um, what's your favourite eyeshadow, colour or shade? It would have to be some sort of brownie shade, but I think generally speaking, I love All That Glitters by MAC. Love that colour. I think that's kind of a must-have. Naked Lunch by MAC I think is amazing. I love Buck by Urban Decay and I love Naked by Urban Decay as well. I think they're really, really good shades. And there are kind of other ones that I love. Like, you know, I really... Oh, I love Sable by MAC. That would have to be one as well. I love kind of brown, warm tones. Um, what... Do you use pencil or liquid eyeliner? I don't really like pencil eyeliner. I kind of don't have much use for it. I do like liquid liner. I don't wear it all the time. I'm wearing it today. I've got the Revlon Skinny Liner on. I've been kind of enjoying wearing it a lot more, but I'm not... You know, if you took eyeliner away from me and said you can't wear eyeliner ever again, I wouldn't be that heartbroken by that. Um, I know a lot of people are kind of really attached to eyeliner. How often do you poke your eyes with an eyeliner pencil? <laughs> Not very often at all. Probably when I started out in makeup I did, but nowadays no. Um, what do you think of pigment eyeshadows? Way too messy and not worth the hassle. Do you use mineral makeup? I'm not really a fan of mineral makeup. I want to try the Laura Mercier Mineral Foundation, but apart from that, not really. Um, What's your favourite lipstick? This is a really hard one, but I think if I had to choose it, it'd probably be something like maybe Max Viva Glam Cindy. I know that was a limited edition, but I love that colour. Or there's a L'Oreal one that I love called Sunset Blush. That's a really good colour. It's kind of just a mid-tone pink. Something like that, I think. Um, how about gloss? I'm not a lip gloss fan at all. Um, I like the Revlon ones and I like the NYX ones, but I don't really wear lip gloss very often at all. Um, what's your favourite blush to use? I really like one by Fashionista and I think it's called Flush and it's just a kind of very pretty everyday pink colour. I really like that. Um, but again, I wear a different blush every day. Do you buy your makeup on eBay? Not very much. Um, I, I don't know, maybe... I can't think of makeup that I bought on eBay, to be honest, no. I, I'm not like against it, I just haven't. Um, do you like drugstore makeup? I love drugstore makeup. I was thinking about this the other day, that I kind of have a lot more drugstore makeup that excites me versus high-end makeup. I find drugstore makeup just really exciting and I love kind of looking at it. So, yeah, I love drugstore makeup. Um, do you go to CCO's cosmetic company outlet? I haven't, but I would like to. Um, did you ever consider taking makeup classes? I really did, um, and I still kind of maybe would. It's just, it's not something that I'm kind of like, I feel like I need to do now type of thing, but one day, you know, I'm not opposed to it, and I totally would. 
Um, are you clumsy at putting on makeup? No, not really. I've been putting makeup on my face for kind of every day for years, so I'm quite used to it and not really. Um, name a makeup crime that you hate. I really, really don't like it when <laughs> foundation is blended badly, so you get kind of one colour on your neck and then what a different colour on your um, kind of jawline and face. I really, really don't like that. I think that looks really not nice. Um, I'm not a fan of black eyeliner. Um, it's just something that I don't really like, especially kind of on lower waterline. I think it kind of closes up the eyes and I'm not a fan of it. But obviously these are all just kind of my personal preferences. It's not that they're a crime. There's no such thing as a makeup crime. If you like it, then it's not a crime. Um, do you like colourful shades of makeup or neutral ones? Totally neutral ones. I'm not into coloured makeup on me at all. I see it on other people, it looks amazing. I can maybe do like a little flick of coloured liner or something like that, but generally I like more neutrals. I can wear a bright lip, but I don't like colour on my eyes at all. Um, which celebrity always has great makeup? I always think that Rosie Huntington Whiteley has gorgeous makeup. Um, Kylie Jenner at the moment has got very, very on point makeup. Don't shoot me, but I most of the time think Kim Kardashian's makeup's nice. Maybe not that kind of no brows thing she had going on the other day, but um, generally speaking, I think her makeup is nice. And JLo, I think JLo's makeup always looks amazing. Her cheekbones and always so glowy and perfect. JLo is just like amazing in general. Um, if you could leave the house only using one makeup item, what would it be? This is such a hard question. Um, I'm gonna have to say concealer probably, because I think if your skin looks nice, then you're kind of, you look all right, but three, can I say three? Can you let me say three? Um, I think everybody, without kind of, any shadow of a doubt. Concealer, mascara, blusher. Those three things are all you need in your makeup bag. If you never want to wear any makeup and you don't like makeup but you just want to look presentable, they're the three go-to things. A little bit of concealer makes everyone look more polished. Mascara is like a push-up bra for your eyes. A little bit of blusher gives you your face some luminosity and they're the kind of go-to things. I think you can really survive with just those three things. So let's, let's kind of save it that. Um, then if you, could you ever leave the house without makeup on? I do sometimes, um, not very often, just because I like it so much, like it's so fun for me to put makeup on in the morning. And I know it's kind of been getting a lot of negativity recently, I feel, and I don't get it because I love makeup. Like it, it is one of the greatest, greatest passions in my life. I keep looking at the viewfinder, I'm kind of not quite with it. Um, and I love it and I've got so much makeup and I love trying things and I love deciding like today I'm gonna do this look. So today for example I felt like wearing gold eyeshadow so I did and I haven't worn it for ages and I'm really liking it. I love wearing makeup so I kind of don't tend to get the house because I'm like every opportunity is an opportunity for me to kind of experiment with some makeup. But I do um, have days where I don't wear any makeup in the house just because I think it's nice to kind of let your skin breathe a little bit. So I'll, if I'm at home and I'm not doing anything and I don't need to go out I don't bother. Um, do you think you look good even without makeup on? Um, I, I look okay. <laughs> I look much, much more attractive with makeup on, but I look okay, you know, like it's not awful. Um, my skin is my main thing. If I didn't have that pigmentation, I would be much, much better about it. Um, but that kind of does bother me a little bit. My skin, I feel, is not the nicest. But generally speaking, I look alright without makeup on. Um, do you, in your opinion, what is the best makeup line? I was trying to think about this, and I think high-end, I'd probably say MAC, just because it's one of those things where, from each category, I could pick something that I like. So there's a foundation that I like, there's kind of, I could I could pick quite comfortably and be happy with that. Drugstore, Revlon, I'm gonna say. I really like most Revlon things. I love their lip products, I like their foundations, their eyeshadows are nice, I can definitely, go down the Revlon um, route. So yeah, they're kind of my two picks. And then the last question is, what do you think of makeup? And I kind of addressed this, but I love makeup. 
I think it's so creative and fun and it just kind of helps you feel ready for the day and I like the kind of ritual of putting your makeup on in the morning. It's that kind of nice me time where you get to be alone and you can kind of sit down and just put your makeup on and I love everything about it, the packaging, the... I was thinking about this the other day and you know like I get to test out a lot of different products and I still get so excited every time something arrives because I just love it so much. The textures, the different finishes, being able to kind of have this look today and then another look tomorrow, matching it to what you're wearing, I just think it's so fun and I get such enjoyment out of it that kind of makeup isn't frivolous to me at all. I think it's a kind of really fun, creative thing that I love. So on that note, I'm going to love you and leave you, but I thought I'd just kind of talk you through what I'm wearing on my face today um, because I always forget when by the time I put the video up and then people always ask me. But my nails are Nails Ink Hanover Street. It's kind of chipped here. And I've got this thing where always this nail and this nail always chip and it's really annoying, but I really like it. It's a nice kind of autumn shade. Then on my face, I'll come a little bit closer and I'm kind of looking at the viewfinder just so I can see. But my foundation, as I said, 17 Stay Time. Then um, my concealer is the uh, NYX Full Coverage Concealer. Some Miners Fresh Face Powder, and I've got a little bit of the um, MUA Conceal and Prime Conceal, I think, powder kind of on the centre of my face. Bronzer, I'm wearing the MUA Big Bronzer and the MUA Contour Shade because I love that. Um, my cheeks are the Clinique Chubby Stick, and I want to say it's like Robust Rhubarb or something like that. Um, my eyes, I'm wearing Naked in the Crease from the first Naked Palette by Urban Decay and Half Baked on my lid. The Revlon Colorstay Skinny Eyeliner. I've got the Rimmel um, Nude. What? I want, they're not Colorstay. What are they call the Rimmel ones? Scandal Eyes um, Nude Liner in my Waterline. Benefit, they're real. Mascara, Benefit. Um, Gimme Brow, I love that, that's such a good product. Um, so yeah, Benefit Gimme Brow in my brows, and then on my lips, I'm wearing um, MAC Craving Lipstick, but I kind of put it on and then blotted it, so it leaves a little bit of a stain, and I think that's a really nice way of wearing it. And I'm gonna do a video about kind of wearing vampy lip colors in a more wearable way, because a few of you have requested that. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a big, big thumbs up if you did. I'll leave all the questions down below. Feel free to answer as many or as little of them as you like, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.